in the small town of Abediani in Brazil, thousands of people were lining up to meet the famous and miraculous faith healer, Joao Teixeira de Faria, for spiritual, emotional and also physical healing. Widely known as John of God, Faria has been providing healings to people in need for more than three decades, ranging from mental disease like depression to deadly illness like brain tumor and cancer. People have described their healing experience with Faria as miraculous and life-changing. These stories of healing soon caught the attention of prominent figures like the 42nd U.S. President Bill Clinton and professional football player Ronaldo Nazario who sought help from him. Attending to more than 10,000 patients a week, Faria has been called by many names throughout the years, a medium, a surgeon, a spiritual teacher. But for the past few years, people have started calling him a sex offender, a child trafficker, a molester, and a monster. Faria was born in 1942 in Goiás, Brazil. As a rebellious and hard-headed boy, he only completed two years of education. It was said that when he was 16 years old, a spirit in the form of a beautiful woman directed him to a nearby church. When he arrived, he fainted immediately. When he woke up, he was surrounded by people and was told that he had just healed many people there by taking the entity of King Solomon, marking the beginning of his journey of healing. At the start of his journey, he wandered around Brazil offering healing to people who sought his help. And when the patients are getting more, he opens his own healing center in 1976, called Casa de Dominarcio de Loyola de Bediani. In the casa, the walls are decorated with photos and posters of Faria and Jesus. Each patient then get in line to shake hand with him, and with just a glance, he is able to make diagnosis, prescribe the medicine and schedule for operation. There is also a room where patients sit down and pack meditating to cleanse their energy field, a process to smooth out healing. Visitors and patients are all clad in white because this will make the energy flow through their body easily and helps in their recovery. According to his source, the energy surrounding the area is so strong that a freshly cut wound can heal in the next day. Faria gained worldwide fame and attention with the publication of his biography, The Miracle Man, and the visit from the famous American talk host, Oprah Winfrey who described Faria as inspiring. People around the world would travel all the way to Abadiania seeking cure for their illness after modern medicine failed them. With more and more patients coming to Abadiania, the economy of the small town soon thrived. Faria treats patients in two ways. The first method is called the visible operation, where he inserts a pair of scissors or forceps that has been dipped with blessed mineral waters into the patient's nose or eyes and twists them repeatedly without using anesthetic. The process is then videotaped by his assistant and played at the cost of for viewing or sold as DVDs. But such violent surgical practice does not deter people from visiting him. The patients have been told not to stop taking their medicine and to follow a few strict rules. For 40 days, no sex, no alcohol and no pork because doing these will disrupt their energy field and healing. Another type of healing is called psychic surgery, where instead of using tools, Faria channels the spirits of doctors or any biblical figures to do the healing. He claimed that by using this method, he had cured blindness, cancer, leprosy and other illness. According to him, more than 30 doctors or figures can enter his body, and it was those entities that were doing all the healing, not him. Dr. Sueldo Cruz, a Brazilian physician who cured the yellow fever and passed away in 1917, King Solomon, the king of Israel during 970 to 931 BC. Saint Ignatius de Loyola, founder of the Jesuits during the 16th century. These are just few of the entities that entered Faria's body. The channeling happens without any signs or warning. Faria's body jerks and his personality changes in an instant. Not just personality, Faria's physical appearance changes as well. It was said that some patients saw his eyes change from brown to blue and some claimed that they saw Faria walking with a limp after the channeling. At the casa, all healings are free of charge. The patients do need to pay for the medicine prescribed by Faria. The casa generate income by accepting donation and selling Faria's merchandise like books, DVDs, healing triangles, pendants and many more. There is only a type of medicine there, passion flower capsules blessed with spiritual energy to support the healing. It is said that the sales there can be up to 10 million or more every year. But all these healings are not without criticism and scrutiny. Faria has been arrested several times for operating without a medical license and has been jailed once. 
According to emergency response expert Dr. David Rosenberg, the herbal pills sold there is nothing more than just passion flower herbs, and reported Faria's medical practices as barbaric and horrendous. Also, there are many patients who didn't get better, or even worsened after the healing. Then in 2014, sexual allegations against Faria started to surface. Dozens of women have stepped forward to accuse Faria of sexual assault. After that the prosecution office set up an email address and phone line, especially for people to voice out their allegations against Faria. In more than just a day, they received more than 200 complaints. Those accusations provide similar accounts where Faria invited the women into his office for healings, and started to rape and assault them sexually. These allegations go all the way back to as early as 1980s, and some of the victims were just a minor when the assault happened. Even Faria's own daughter, Dalva Texera calls him a monster because he had raped and beat her, until she ran away from home at the age of 14. But those scandals and accusations were not enough to deter people from going to the Casa for healing. After sexual assault Faria was accused of running a sex slave farm. According to activist Sabrina Bittencourt, Faria enslaved hundreds of women over the years, and sold their newborns on black market. These women lived in a farm at the state of Goya owed by Faria, and were murdered after 10 years of giving birth. Faria denied all the accusations against him, and claimed that they lacked evidence, and these accusations were all jealousy. With more and more allegations coming in, the police issued an arrest warrant on the psychic surgeon. On December 16, 2018, Faria surrendered himself to the police near the city of Abadiania. At that time, the accusations against him were already more than 600. When the police raided his properties, they found handguns hidden behind a wardrobe, and a suitcase with more than $300,000 inside. The police also found out, that not long before his arrest, Faria withdrew a huge amount of cash equivalent to 9 million US dollars from his bank account. Before he was tried, Faria was already arrested and jailed for illegal possession of firearms. According to the prosecutors, some of the assaults, happened so long ago, that the statute of limitations has passed. Eventually the prosecutors were able to prove Faria guilty, and on 19 December 2019, the medium was sentenced to 19 years, and 4 months in prison for the rapes of 4 women. After a month, he received another 40 years sentence. With his age, it is now impossible for him to continue his journey and mission of miraculous healings. Today, in 2021, accusations against Faria are still coming in. After the imprisonment, a Badiania that was once flocked with tourists is now a ghost town with businesses at risk of closing. Godly or ungodly, Faria was once the hope of many and until today, there are still numbers of people who spoke highly of his healings. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.